Welcome back guys, I just wanted to do a quick update on the player token PLA um, I did upload a video uh, the other day on a one hour time frame with some bearish divergence Okay, and I got a bit of backlash for this because uh, you get moon boys who think that the price can only go in one direction um, The reason for me putting that video out wasn't to uh, you know get people to just sell all their, their player token and, and dump the price is actually just to raise awareness and you know if anyone was ready to FOMO in there uh, around these levels uh, like 100 and like 89, 190, 200 or whatever if they were just patient enough they could actually um, get a lower entry okay and get a better position for a long term hold okay so obviously after that uh, since then we've seen the price come down um, so <sighs> Can definitely could have, could have picked up some player down here um, as long as the liquidity was there and um, now you can pick up player for 168 sats rather than in excess of like 200 sats 180 sats uh, as you can see uh, the TA was done on a lower time frame because on the higher time frames um, you know there's not much you can go by I mean look at the RSI there you know when you see a candle like this going up on a one day Obviously, it looks good when you see the, the build up, the accumulation, and then you get the blow. It could look like a blow off top, but um, it's too early to tell when you see um, when you see a chart like this. Obviously, you got the MACD, it's way up there, uh, but the RSI is not telling much of a story. So, when you're looking for entries or you know short term short term plan, you can look on the lower time frame. Okay, now we also saw that it was a possible. Head and shoulders, and then another shoulder there. We can get straight down to the downside, and then you know descended. Okay, but it's not all bad news because now I can see a new pattern forming, and I'll draw that out for you now. Okay, so it looks like a descending triangle. It could have been in a falling wedge, which is now to the upside okay it's brought to the upside okay so you know on a technical buy the breakout pattern that would be a perfect entry now we didn't buy down here wait for it to break out and get a candle body close above this level obviously we've got a four hour close as well Okay, so that's looking bullish, you know, uh, we could be ready for another leg up, let's say. Uh, there's no volume with the breakout, but it's not. I mean, this is just a short time frame anyway, so you definitely can see one, two, few candles, and then you'll see an impulse, maybe, potentially, or just a slow growth up, up these ways, you know, if you're patient with it. Obviously, if we break past the 247 level, then we clearly breaking out and we can see definitely another bull flag maybe and a continuation up so it's definitely a continuation pattern there breakout pattern um yeah so guys i mean yeah if we go to the bit mark chart we can see the same thing happening now obviously one well, one thing that you'll notice is the charts are different um you know the way the uh the way the patterning is you know you've got this big old darth maul double-edged lightsaber um, but uh, yeah what you can see is uh, the same thing kind of happening down here it's not as good as not as nice as a pattern but it does look a bit more stable in the way the price movement has been going now we've got the breakout breakout of the descending resistance and you know now it can start making its way up more buying pressure coming in less selling pressure and we're good to go as you can see on the MACD we've got bullish MACD cross on the one on the lower time frame because I'm only going by the lower time frames here guys like I said the higher time frame is not as clear a picture RSI is heading back up after coming down to these levels 40 levels it would have been nice if it came down to 30 levels but um, you can see you know it holding that level there the 40 here yeah. so over the past few months uh, same thing on the, on the, on the, on 
the indicators up. But yeah, obviously on the one, on the four hour, we can see that the MACD curl up, we've got the momentum, um, you know, is going back up slowly. Have a look, see that U shape going back up, and then we could see another U shape, uh, inverse U, and that can bring it up to the upside. Obviously, on the one hour, on the one hour, we've got the bullish MACD cross. Yeah, guys, so um, yeah. Definitely a good time to pick up some more player token. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. Please do your own research when investing in the markets. Don't invest anything more than what you can afford to lose. I'm no chart expert either. You know, this is just simple TA. Where definitely, uh, yeah, I've, I managed to pick up some 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 bags at a cheaper level. Therefore, increasing my player holdings so that I can uh, make more money because that's what it's all about, isn't it, guys? If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.